on the cusp of retirement, an eccentric mortician recalls several of his strangest stories he's encountered in his long career. But things take a turn from the phantasmagorical when he learns that the final story is his own. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with another Fantasia Film Festival movie review and this time it's for the horror anthology film The Mortuary Collection. Very excited to let you all know what I thought about it in this non-spoiler review. Before we dive into it, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts so that way you can stay up to date with what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Helps out the channel but i also really appreciate it and let me know in the comments if you've heard about this film i'm gonna leave the trailer below let me know your thoughts on the trailer and of course share your pros and cons of this review in the comments below and let's have some discussions in the comment section so the mortuary collection is a throwback to the 80s anthology style it's been a while since i watched an anthology movie uh, i didn't see last year's uh the dark stories the guillermo del toro produced and all this stuff it's been a while it's, it's like probably like vhs or something like that vhs 2 was the last time i was seen like an anthology movie uh but this man this has to be one of my favorites that i've seen at the film festival as by the time this video is out the film festival would have ended which again fantasia film festival thank you so much for having me be a part of this incredible festival can't wait for next year such a great time but there are definitely some of those films that i saw that i just cannot wait for people to see and this is one of them guys i'm telling you all this is a throwback to the 80s this reminds me so much of like tales from the crypt the way that these stories are being told number one you have an incredible cast two standouts for me were clancy brown as montgomery dark uh the mortician uh of the story and telling and hearing Clancy Brown voice and just love him as an actor and then you have this uh, newcomer Aitlin Custer as Sam who I thought was just such an interesting complex character and this is my first time being exposed to her and I thought she was fantastic but another person the MVP for me is Ryan Spindle the director of this film I am so excited to see more of Ryan's work because the way he crafted this story and put these stories together first and foremost again you think of an anthology you most of the times think like okay they're not going to really connect. There's going to be maybe some highs, some lows, but consistency was the name of the game within this film. You know, the way that these stories tell themselves, they kind of give you a little appetizer with a story that takes place in the bathroom and the whole meaning behind the particular story. This kind of like not being nosy, right? And I love the way that uh, uh, Montgomery Dark is being, he's interviewing Sam who wants to work as a, mort work to, wants to work in the mortician. And Sam's like, all right, you know, uh, Mr. Dark, tell me some stories. Tell me some of your best and creepiest stories. So I like how they kind of set the stage and give you this kind of light story. I'm thinking when I first saw this first uh, uh, um, story that was told in the bathroom, a very short story, I'm like, okay, this isn't going to be too, you know, gruesome. This is going to probably be on the lines of like a very you know uh digestible type of horror film it's not going to go over the top was I wrong in the best way possible? Because as the stories progress, we have this story talking about safe sex. It gets gruesomer, more sadistic, more menacing as the stories are told, and it just ratchets up, and the stuff you find out within the stories and how they all connect was just so beautifully told. I will say my favorite story is a toss between the story about marrying someone and really meaning to the extent to death do us part and that no evil deed goes unpunished, but also Logan's story and the babysitter killer was so fantastic again guys ryan spindle is someone to keep an eye out for i believe he's doing a series on quibi uh which i don't have but i hope he does more stuff in the realm of horror in the realm of anthology series because this guy is a fantastic director i can go on and on about the visuals again that story about the married couple, visually speaking, was one of the coolest things I've seen in a very long time. Uh, the story, the message, the violence, the gruesomeness within that horror story, within that marriage story was fantastic. But then I think about Logan's story, how awesome, how incredible that was. Seeing Sam and seeing the reveal in that story was absolutely incredible. I hope that there's maybe a spinoff in the works of this or a continuation because uh, I thought it was just fantastic. If there were any criticisms, like I said, at the beginning, I was the 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 kind of the throwback of the 80s it kind of has some cheesiness to it at the start but it, it it sets the stage for you just kind of it catches you off guard because literally you think like okay this is going to be you know a, a fun movie but you know at least a fun movie but it's not only entertaining and fun 
it's legit scary and gruesome and it gets very sadistic as the stories unfold and as the film progresses so literally guys i can't really think of any negative things there were the ending got a little bit over the top and felt a little dragged out it's about an hour and 50 minutes i thought it could have probably cut about 10 to 15 minutes off the film but those are just some minor things at the end of the day the mortuary collection by ryan spindle is a fantastic horror film a fantastic anthology series i believe this film will be available come october if it is definitely check it out i'm giving this a solid 4.8 out of 5 my highest rated film in the film festival so far. I'm going to say this, Survival Skills, The Columnist, and The Oak Room is some of my favorites so far in the film festival. And, and again, I cannot wait for people to see this because I think a lot of horror fans will appreciate this film. So that's my thoughts on this film. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you've seen this, if you're excited for it, let's have some discussion in the comments below. Again, when this video is out, unfortunately, the festival had has ended. But again, Fantasia Film Festival, thank you so much for having me be a part of this. I can't wait till next year. This was an incredible experience. It was some rookie mistakes by me. I can't wait to be a part of more of these festivals so I can kind of learn the tricks of the trade. But I'm so thankful, so thankful and honored to be a part of it. So as always, guys, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel, uh, as well as hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Check out all my other Fantasia Film Festival coverage of other movies I've reviewed, as well as check out all my TV reviews, movie reviews, and all the fun things we have on this very channel. Thank you guys for watching this review. Hope you're staying safe. And we'll see you on the next video.